it was only like two or three weeks ago that we had some really nice weather here. There's no snow on the ground. All the colorful leaves were still on the trees and it really felt like we were gonna have an awesome fall season. And then all of a sudden, winter moved in really fast, faster than normal, I'd say. So we went from things looking like this. to things now looking like this. So that brings me to the purpose of today's video. If you're out there looking for a backpack blower, there's a couple different varieties. There is a hip throttle or a tube throttle. Let me show you the difference. So I'm gonna start by showing you the hip throttle. I talked with Echo and they said that actually they have about a 50-50 preference between hip throttle and the tube throttle. They said a little more on the east coast of the US, there's more demand for this hip throttle style right here. I'm not sure why. Some people like it, some don't. And I'm gonna show you some of the pros that I talked to this week at the Echo User Advisory Group meetup in Lake Zurich. Hey, I'm Caleb with Almond Landscape out of uh, Columbus, Ohio. Um, my preference, I'm kind of old school. I like the tube throttle. I like having a free hand to do, you know, whatever I need to, to do just for uh, picking leaves out of shrubs or whatever. So yeah, definitely tube throttle. But I'm old school, I could probably adapt. Okay, all right, well thanks. Yes sir. My name is Mark Sloan with Sloan's Lawn Care and Landscaping out of Harrison, Arkansas. Uh, I run both varieties of blower, the hip and the trigger style on your right, but I like the hip throttle better. Okay. Um, <clears throat> over time, it seems like on your right side throttle, that cable stretches out. It, might it, stagger it, it always stags on trees and yeah. stuff. And as I mentioned to you before, the replacement on Red Max is any way I know of to replace the hip throttle is about half the cost of replacing the trigger throttle. Okay. So right. it's a lot cheaper. Okay. My name is Scott Saunders. Uh, I own and operate uh, Fraser Outdoor Living Concepts from Ontario, Canada. Uh, I've only ever run until today uh, trigger throttle okay. backpack blowers. That's what uh, I've bought. That's what employers that I've worked for in the past have always bought. That's where my comfort lies. Now running today the new PB8010 with the hip throttle, Yeah, it was comfortable. I, I, I did like it. I just don't know if for running what I've run for so long would switch over. Okay, all right, fair I enough. just, the two hand thing, it, my, it takes another hand to run it. Yeah, like you can be doing something Check else. Your phone. Checking your phone, <laughs> filming, whatever yeah. you need to do. Picking something uh, up. Yeah, picking okay. up trash, grabbing okay. limbs, Yeah. Okay. carrying stuff. Okay. Whereas when you're trying to feather, especially you're trying to clean up that last little bit of pile, if you're picking up a stick or something, yeah. while you're, then you, you gotta have both hands dedicated. Whereas the, the, the trigger throttle, you got that one hand, you still have that hand free, you can pick up some, some twigs or limbs or whatever you need to throw on the pile. Okay, all right, great, thank you. Nope. Hey guys, my name is Jimmy Massey. I'm from Waynesville, North Carolina, a little town outside of Asheville. And I think I would go with the um, hip. Hip okay, for sure. Hip. Okay, cool, yeah. all right, thank you. Lake Hawthorne with It's His Turf. I'm actually from Hot Springs, Arkansas, and um, I just got done running the new Echo uh, 8010 and they had a hip throttle. So I have 12 blowers back at home that are all on the tube and we'll be converting over to the hip throttle. Reason being is that is my number one complaint with all blowers is that the handle on the tube, not only do my throttle cables break like crazy, but that handle comes off the tube whether it's steel or Husqvarna, they both have a flaw. The plastic breaks on the steel, yeah. and on the Husqvarna, the knob comes out. Mm. I put red Loctite on it, it still finds its way off. Huh. I think that's gonna be a game changer. All right, well cool, so, appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks. So, uh, name's Julio, um, and from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah. What's your and, channel name? Uh, Lawn Care Business Success Podcast, and on YouTube, yeah, check and that Instagram. Out. Uh, and uh, I've always just had tube throttle. 
uh, to me, uh, having the two handles and, and having uh, you know both hands occupied at the same time always kind of made no sense to me. And being able to use one handle, I can always you know, multitask and pull up the phone yeah. or, yeah. you know, look at it if what text messages or emails had come in during while I was mowing or something, right? right. And I can quickly check them while I'm blowing and stuff. So I, I just have always used the tube throttle. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. What's up guys? Sean here with Spencer's Lawn Care. I'm from Canton, Ohio. Uh, we currently run just the hand throttles. Uh, the reason I like that is it just keeps less off of the trailer, less things we'll trip over off of the rack. Because with our rack system, you know, if you have the hip throttle and the tube mount, uh, you have two things sticking into the trailer, basically. So by eliminating one of them, it's just less things that we can trip over, less, you know, space on the trailer overall. All right, good point. All right, thank you. What's going on, guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care from Kansas City. Well, a little south of Kansas City, Missouri. But uh, when it comes to backpack blowers, I found that I really, I've never tried the hip throttle. Uh, but honestly, it's just not, it's because I've, everything I've used has always been triggered. Same here. Uh, but I think I might like the hip just because it seems like it would be easier to, you don't have, you can just set it and forget it pretty much, you know, yeah. which, which you can do with the throttle too, but I just prefer the throttle over the hip personally. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. That was a nice mix of answers. I'm going to show you on the tube throttle over here what they're talking about. So you have this cable right here that's hanging out that can snag on different things. You don't have it on the hip throttle right there. On the steel right here you can see that can snag on different things. The way the hip throttle works, this controls the on off and it actually has a cruise control on it. I think a lot of people that are dealing with big leaf cleanups they tend to prefer something like this. And when I go to start it, I just find if you pull this up right here, it's real easy because you have all your controls. So if you're going to turn the accelerator up a little bit or turn it on or off, that's right there. Tube throttle, you have to go all the way over there to turn it on or off. So the one thing Echo has, when you shut it off, it doesn't automatically pop back to on, where some other brands will do that. That's just one thing to note. In my area here in Michigan, we really don't see too many hip throttles. And the first time that I tried this, which was about two months ago, and having this right here, I kind of felt like a superhero, like putting a jetpack on. If I were to tell you my honest opinions about the hip throttle, at first I really didn't like it as much as the tube throttle, but the more that I'm using it, the more that I seem to be adapting. <laughs> This is the tube throttle. So it is kind of weird after using the hip throttle for a while. I'm used to having my hand down there and it just feels a little bit weird not having that to <laughs> hang on to. Just a little different. I'd say if you're, do if you're running a lawn care business and you're just cleaning off one sidewalk and approach like this and it's going to take you like two or three minutes, then I think this is probably going to be the preference right here for me anyways. If you have a different comment, please put it down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. So the purpose of this video is just to show you some of the differences between the two. So let's say you see one on sale and it's different than what you're used to. It's going to work for you just fine. It's just something you're going to have to learn to adapt to one or the other. It's not going to be a game breaker at all, but you know, just something for you guys to consider. So if you enjoyed this video review, please give it a thumbs up and also hit the share button if you would please. So that way some other people in lawn care and landscaping green industries can comment as well. It'd be nice to get some feedback from all the people across the US or even different countries perhaps. All right, so that's it. It's getting dark here. Thanks for watching friends. See you next time.